Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, in this segment, we are going to look at adding graphs into Microsoft Word. And we're also going to add in some illustrations that go with that graph. Um, in this instance, we're going to create an ice cream cone and we will use a text box that will be, uh, appear below this as well. Okay, so uh, yet again, we go into the insert menu. And now we are going to go to graphs chart so find under the chart option and we are going to basically be using the clustered column one which is the default and then you click on ok this will then bring up a text box where we're going to type in the information that we want to actually capture within our, our graph and it will look very similar to what we get within Microsoft Excel as you can see, it actually says that it's chart in Microsoft Word, but you can see the, out, the layout is similar to Microsoft Excel. So we're just going to add in the information here. January, February, and March. And then we're going to have the different products in the, as the categories here. We have soft drinks. We are going to have chips. We are going to have biscuits and last but not least we're going to have ice cream. Okay, now we just put in our values as well. And bearing in mind these um, activities are taken from our textbook, Computer Practice Office 2016 N4 Syllabus from Petro de Villiers. Um, and this activity is found on pages 102 and 103. So feel free to use your textbook to look, um, add the values in here. And as you can see, as I'm typing it, it's automatically updating the chart in the background. And last set of numbers. last number now okay so now that we've captured that information we can close the chart in Microsoft Word box okay and it shows us now the chart that now we just created now and now we're going to update the chart title so I click on it says chart title all I have to do is just clear that chart title that is currently there and we are going to call this one Rambo Tuck Shop And just below that we will put in there sales figures Oops. okay so that gives us our basic chart um, and now below that we are now going to add in an ice cream cone as you can see at the moment my cursor is at the bottom next to the, the chart I'm just going to hit enter a few times so that I can create space for me to draw in the ice cream cone and the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to go to the Insert menu. And now I'm going to go to Insert Shapes. And in order to draw our ice cream cone, we're going to have an isosceles triangle, which we will then draw over here. And as you can see, it actually draws it in the upside down position. So we need to, you'll see there's a box that pops up now for us under the Shape Format menu. Um, and in there, there's an option here that, that gives us uh, uh, the ability to rotate the object. So we click on that rotate object. And in this case, I want to flip it horizontally. So if I click on flip horizontally, vertically, apologies. I must flip it vertically. And in this case, I'm also going to change the color scheme that's associated with that. And remember, this is very similar to when we're working with borders and shading. Um, so we, when we're changing the shading, we change the shape full. So in this case, to get it something very close to an ice cream cone, um, we're going to use gold accent 4, lighter 60 60%, um, to give us a more representative color of ice cream cone. And then similarly, we can change the border on that as well. 
to make it blend in with that color. Okay. Um, now to complete our ice cream cone, we need to add in another shape. So we're going to go to insert, back into shapes, and now we are going to use a cloud. Okay, so I click on my cloud, and you can see my, my cursor now becomes an arrow. I just click and hold to draw the ice cream over the cone, as you can see over there. And now I've got a bubblegum ice cream. So here again, I can change the fill, and I'm going to make it something lighter. Just slightly lighter. Let's make it gold accent 480, lighter 80%. Okay, and that will give us our ice cream cone. And now what we're going to do below that, so we've got that shape in place. We're just going to use our enter key again. And now we're going to draw in an, an, a text box. So we're going to the insert menu. We go to the text box option. And we are going to draw a text box. So yet again, you can see that my cursor is over there. I'm just going to draw it below the ice cream cone. And it automatically then goes into that, that text box. And I can type in there, most popular product equals ice cream. Okay. And bearing in mind, because this is text, we have the ability to change the, the formatting on that text. So we can select that text, we can go into our home menu, and we can go and change it to whatever font uh, we've been asked to utilize. So for instance, if I wanted to use Absalom, or I wanted to use it as um, Calibri, I'm going to make it Calibri, and then I'm going to center that within the text box. So I can just center it like that. I can even make it bold if I needed to. Okay, so you have the ability to do that. And the other thing we can also do with that text box, so if we go back into... Okay, um, let's, let's rather not do that. So in essence, now we've created our chart. We've created an illustration below that chart, and we put in a text box. Um, so what the activity also wants us to do is there is one value that we need to update. So all I need to do is I'm going to click on the series that I want to change. So in this case, it's March. I click on that, and then I right-click, and I go to the option that says Edit Data. Okay? Once I click on Edit Data, it should bring back up that box that we had in the beginning, the chart in Microsoft Word box, text box, and we can change the value that we want to update. Okay, you click away. And you can see there, automatically it updated. Okay. So just also bear in mind, I just wanted to take you through all the areas that, that are um, available in the chart. So if you click on that plus arrow on the right-hand side to get all your chart elements, you have chart titles. So if you look, um, the illustration, once you scroll over it, it will bring you up where those chart titles will appear, the access titles in this case will appear. Or if you want to have data labels, it will show you what, what it will look like if you add in data labels. Or if you want to put in a data table below that. Or you want to put in a trend line, etc. Okay. So bear that in mind if ever you are asked to do that. That's, that concludes our activity for today. See you in the next video.